Hi and welcome, Kat from Sacred Soul Rising. So I've got three cards today that I'm channeling um, to go deeper into what is being brought up in this energy this week. Where can we, and how I like to use this is to springboard into your own self-inquiry. We know that this journey is about your growth, your development, you connecting deeper in with self. And what I want to say, first of all, within the collective of the divine masculine is a purification energy. There is a big purging energy going on at the moment. And you remember that there are two bodies, but it is one soul. And the third energetic field is created on soul recognition. So if you are also feeling that energy of purging, of releasing, of leveling up, what is a purging energy? Why do we go through purging? We, we purge because we are releasing those lower dense frequencies, those guilt and shame. And, and I can assure you within the collective of Divine Masculine right now, there is a lot of guilt and shame being released, releasing, letting go and, and starting to rise up. You see, while ever you have got those energies vibrating within you, you cannot rise up into that higher state of consciousness. So these energies that are being purged at the moment, and if you're also feeling it, of feeling that you're not fully stepping into who you are becoming, it's because you are picking up on that collective energy. You know, we know that there's that one energetic, that third energetic field created and the vibration vibrates in there. You are one. So you are going to pick up on this purging energy. And you may even be questioning it going, why am I feeling, you know, why do I feel like I'm purging out guilt and shame where I really haven't got very much guilt and shame. This is because it is collective energy and it is being purged out at a massive rate right now. So if you're feeling it, it's because we're the the naked truth, the the nakedness, the rawness, you know, the the bare bones of that vibration is really being purged out in a massive way. So and and it says here, you know, she's she looks, she's naked, she's she she's burning, you know, the the branches are burning, the the old is being released. And, you know, it says the bare essentials, the naked truth, the wholeness, you know, releasing it. So the the only the truth is in that sovereignty that is rising up. OK, so I want to now look as what is going on in both bodies. And right now, as a whole collective of awakened beings. And remember, when we go through awakenings, we come in. It comes in waves. The waves right now is the sacred journey, remembering that this journey is sacred. This is your sacred journey. This is not a journey just to be discussed and thrown away and gone, well, they said this, they said that. This is a journey that is deeply sacred at soul level. We know that you are catapulted on this journey, you have that big kundalini um, activation, which activates all your chakra system, but it really activates the heart chakra. What is the heart chakra? The heart chakra is all about living, um, you know, at that un unconditional love, shifting from service to self to service to others. And that is why on this sacred journey, you shift and, and, you know, it, it, it's there saying deep transformations. You shift and go through these deep transformations where you no longer are turning up thinking about, oh, I've got to pay the mortgage or, you know, I've, and, and yes, we still have all those responsibilities, but you shift into how can I help others? How can I be of service? How can I make a difference in the world? And you start to see 
the world in a very different vibration. Even the colours become more vivid. So the trees and the, the ocean and the sun and you realise that you are this beautiful multidimensional being and you are here to make a difference in the world. And that might just be, you know, how you shift the energy in a room. You know, once you are catapulted onto this journey, your whole energetic field changes. You change at so many layers. So the physical body, the emotional body, the mental body, the spiritual body, and also the light body. You are changing at every level. So my eyes itching. And that's why it feels so confusing and so powerful and you're there trying to figure out what is going on because nothing makes sense. And you're trying to explain it to friends or family and they're like, yeah, okay, how can I help you? And you're like, I don't know how you can help me. Why? Because you are going through a massive transformation. You are now shifting from that carbon-based dense energy into this light frequency. There is nothing like it out there. And this is now your sacred journey. Once you are catapulted onto this journey, you can never go back to that old way of being. You probably go, I don't even know. I can't even recognize that old person. They they no longer vibrate in my energy. So the sacred journey is for both divine masculine and divine feminine. But what does divine feminine need to know? That your heart is sacred that your journey, you know, this journey has been orchestrated from birth. You are now an incredibly beautiful spiritual being that is able to move between worlds. And it is the pain only exists when you stick in mind and ego of trying to figure out the journey instead of accepting that the, the, the place that you will find peace is in the here and now. The place that you will feel satori and zen is in the here and now, is by releasing those shackles, is by stop trying to figure out the journey and know that this journey now is a journey of being. This journey now is about you connecting in with universal energies. You see, you are catapulted into this um, journey but this journey is there not as, uh, you know, not to keep you bound, not to keep you chained in pain, but is there to ignite you into that beautiful spiritual being. So you shift from being from mind and ego, a very linear way of living into that spiral, into that soul way of life. You start to live from a soul place. And that can be quite hard because you spent most of your life, which may be 30, 40, 50 years, operating from mind and ego. You are now being guided by heart. You are now being guided by soul. And where do you and your twin, where are you one? At soul vibration. And so now is the time for you to fully shift into that. And that's why this journey, you know, you will purge out like, you know, it's been shown Divine Masculine right now is doing is purging out. You will purge out all those things that are no longer in high vibration, recognizing that this is your sacred journey, a journey that has no beginning and has no end. This journey is infinity. Why? Because the soul is infinity. You come from divine source energy. And you are a beautiful multi multi-dimensional being. And so now it's about releasing the mind and ego, accepting where you are and shifting from service of self to service to others. And once you do that, that is when the journey really starts to catapult and change. If you need more help and support on your journey, maybe you think I'm being called in to shift from that service of self to service to others then my, you know, my website's there. It's full of all helpful information to help and support you through this journey. So you can learn how to work with that energetic system. So you can get that deep inner knowledge. So you can then just start to shift fully into soul. 
I look forward to helping and supporting you on your journey. Remember, this is a sacred journey. Much love, many blessings.